All right, guys. We'll do another uh, quick uh, review of one of my other favorites. Happens to be another Glock pistol, Model 23. Um, as anytime you're handling a firearm, first thing we're going to do is check, make sure it's unloaded. Already got this guy locked back. We we'll roll it over. Uh, yep, we appear to be clear. Um, it's very important. First rule anytime you touch a firearm is uh, is it loaded? First question. Uh, this one's not, so we'll go ahead and uh, continue our review safely. But this was uh was my carry gun for about two years or so. I uh, really loved it. It was actually the first pistol I ever bought. Um, and a lot of guys out there go with this on their first pistol, the Glock Mall 23, uh, being chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, uh, very reliable caliber, uh, super sweet shooting gun. Uh, on this guy, I've got a, uh, that's going to be a True Glow TFO front sight, which was a freebie. Um, I'd like to make it clear, I don't really like these. They're okay, but... Um, not not my favorite there's definitely a lot better stuff out there for the same money and then regular old factory rear sight i just haven't got around to putting a set of night sights on this yet uh tfo technically is but even after i've had it on there for about eight months it's already stopped glowing but um there's a uh, wanting to go for a set of mepper lights to uh to replace that here in the very near future but um 13 round capacity factory mag uh, mark all my stuff in case I take it to range so it don't get lost. But uh, 13 round capacity, you know, can use a Glock Mall 22 magazine, which will push you up to 15. Or, you know, Glock just released their uh, 22 round factory mags. That's getting pretty uh, pretty impressive for 40 caliber. That's a lot of firepower. But, um, you know, just basic Glock pistol stuff, safe action, uh, action drop safety, firing pin block. Uh, very safe gun. Like I said, I carried it for. Uh, over two years with, with one of the pipe every day never had a ever had a single problem uh, you know would suggest that anybody that's capable of safely handling a firearm that's the way to do it but uh this gun you'll see uh, still I mean shows just a little bit of wear but this guy's got probably 4,000 rounds to it or maybe even a couple more than that I've shot it a good bit uh, this is actually one that I buried in uh, uh, buried it in a creek bank and uh, come back to it and ran a, a magazine through it. It did fail 10th round. Uh, it uh, failed to uh, failed to extract, but um, got that out, field stripped the pistol, blew it out with my mouth, just, you know, blew it out, put it right back to work, and it uh, it ran fine the rest of the day. I put about probably five or 600 rounds to it that day uh, back uh, last spring when we were able to shoot outside a little more. But great gun. Uh, like I said, 13 rounds, very fair size. This is their compact, you know, their mid-size frame. Um, if you've seen my Glock Model 30 video, uh, it's pretty much the exact same size as the Glock Model 30. So that's why I jumped up to, to the 45 round uh, so easily because I was used to carrying this gun already. But uh, if you haven't seen that, shame on you. You need to go see it. Glock Model 30 can still carry perfection. But um, great, little, uh, great little gun. Like I said, I've had this in the park quite a few times. Uh, very simple to maintain. It's probably a little dirty because I don't believe in cleaning it every time I pull the trigger. But um, great gun. Uh, definitely one I highly recommend to everybody. I almost preach. Uh, if you don't own a Glock Model 23, you should because it's definitely, in my opinion, I've got a couple of M&Ps I'm going to be doing reviews on. And I really like those. M&Ps have come a long way. But uh, Glock Model 23 is probably the 40 caliber pistol to have. Uh, it uh, far surpasses the expectations of, of any other manufacturer. Uh, they, uh, they've done good on these guns. You know, a lot of law enforcement carry these guns. Uh, uh, local city uh, law enforcement used to carry them when they switched over to uh, 22s and half the guys are wanting to go back to their 23s. But um, no personal preference, but a great gun. Uh, Glock Mall 23 is definitely, like I said, 40 caliber gun to have if you're looking for an everyday carry gun or a range gun or, or uh, you know, a home defense weapon. This is a uh, this is a good choice. Brings a lot of firepower to the table and a uh, it's very reasonable to shoot. Recoil isn't too terrible. Um, my uh, my five foot two, 110 pound, better half she can shoot the daylight side with this gun. Uh, it's actually what she learned to shoot on basically and ever since that she's been able to shoot, uh, shoot great whenever she picked up anything else. Alright guys, thanks for bearing with me.